let's talk about designers. So when we obviously started putting easy peasy forms together, I thought a designer just, you know, designed. And I didn't realize there was actually a lot more to it than just creating designs for our application. Yeah, so there's, there's a process where the developers that do the coding, but there's also, you can either have a full stack designer, uh, which will do the, the Photoshop files, and then they'll cut it and use something like Foundation as a CSS library to put it all together. Or there's the designer that just does the Photoshop and then passes it to your front-end web developers who take it from there. Um, yeah, it's quite important knowing who you're dealing with there in yeah, terms of your designer. Yeah, it's totally right. I mean, this has been such a learning process because as I said before, I thought it was just designer, developer, and that was it, you know, put the designs together, developers, design it. But the cutting process is, you know, so much bigger than I realized. Yeah, and the cutting process can be kind of a bottleneck. It can hold you up. Sometimes the designer will get the, the drawings all done and you go like, yeah it's great can we have that ready for the developers um, and then things get slow and so you need to toss up whether you're better to have a full stack person who can then code them and pass it on to the developer which is what we've done in the past um, but it can be a bottleneck as well sometimes it's probably faster to just have the designer do the design and then pass it to the, the Photoshop files directly onto another person to actually do the cutting. Yeah, and keep that momentum going, you know, because if one person is trying to, is waiting for something, they're more inclined to be following up saying, where are those designs and yeah. cutting. So it is really important to... Dealing with designers can be, it can be a process. Yeah, um, I think that it's one of our, our hardest things that... Yeah, because if we get the developers, they've got deadlines and they want to meet their deadlines and if they don't get what they need, then it holds up the whole process. They try and then be designers, and that's never a good outcome. It just wastes more time, and then the designer's got to go and fix things afterwards. Yeah, so it, um, it is really important also too, when you're starting out with a designer, and that communication is so important to let them know what you're after. A lot of the time you're not going to know what you're after until maybe a designer has sort of given you an insight. But maybe having a brainstorming session with them prior to, to mm. them putting some website designs or app designs together for you just so they have an idea and you sort of have an idea of what you're going to get definitely helps. Asking them how they like to work, um, getting them to train you how to deal with them is always helpful as well. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yep. And as a designer I think you need to be clear and ask what you want from the, the person, from your client, you need yeah. to be very clear on what you need to be able to do the design. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, one of the ways that Tash works with, with our designer is using Snagit. Yeah, yeah, that's really helpful. So um, Snagit is, it's like Snippy Tool, but it's way better. On steroids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, and I will take screenshots or just make a mock-up of sort of how I think I want it to look and pass that on to our designer and she obviously comes back with something far better than what I've created but at least we're on the same track. It's much like screencasting, like kind of like screencasting for the developers when we've got a problem it's like showing them, showing the designer the screen for. Yeah, so Snagit has a kind of like mock-up stamps and things that you can yeah, find, yeah, it? Yeah. like text boxes mm -hmm. and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, so um, for iOS as well as MS. I don't know what you call that. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for, yeah. yeah so for your iPhone, you can have controls that match the iPhone and mm. um, Android controls for Android. Yeah. That's sort of thing. Yeah. 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 So there's lots of mock-up tools, but Snag is just quite a very simple one mm -hmm. and um, works well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's really mm -hmm. good. Love it. I actually use it every day, probably. And I think it gives the designer a really good idea of what we're expecting as well. I think it makes it clear, you know, because words can be, especially because we use email, we use Skype, we use mm. even speaking to someone, sometimes things just can't, just can't be clear. So if you can use a video or screenshots, yeah. it just makes it so much easier for someone to understand because they can see it visually what you're after. Yeah. It's also really important to discuss whether you want a responsive website as, as well, like whether yeah. it's going to be mobile first or at least work well on a mobile. I'm just going to say why wouldn't you? And why wouldn't you these days, yeah. Yeah, right. I mean so many people who sits really in front of a computer that often these days, I mean we do all day but you know most people look at things on their phone yes. or on their iPad, tablet, whatever. Yep. Yeah. 
And yeah, it, it, understanding the scope, knowing how long it will take to actually get the designs done and cut um, up front is really important because otherwise you can blow your budget. Uh, mm -hmm. Even knowing up front, sometimes you can blow your budget. It's kind of something true. you have to manage, much like the development, much like everything. It is just another thing you have to manage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in summary, dealing with designers, there's a few things that few tips that we recommend. Find out whether you're dealing with a full stack designer or somebody who just does the design for you. Ask for direction and how your designer works best. Get them to tell you how you should communicate with them and the information that they need to make your project roll. Yeah, and ensure that you've got clear deadlines and you follow up regularly to ensure that the designs are ready for when the developers need them. Um, provide mock-ups, snag it's a really good tool, videos if you can, or screenshots, just give them some info. Yeah, don't assume anything. If you want mobile, responsive, make sure you point that out to the designer as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks guys. Like and subscribe.